Hi, good Maybe, evening, Wazir. Uh, yes. Yeah, as you said, I'm Chemutai Goin from Citizen TV. I have two brief questions. Um, you have addressed the issue of cultural extremism. And uh, one of the issues that we've seen and had utterances made by yourself as the Cabinet Secretary for Interior and the Deputy President, uh, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, is that there are certain individuals that are funding the resurgence of the outlawed Mongeke sect. Um, and one of the persons mentioned is the former President Uhuru Kenyatta. Uh, first, um, have there been links that you've identified as the people in charge of the country's security of his involvement in the sort of resurgence of Mungiki and what evidence or what are you doing about this? And two, still on that bit of cultural extremism and, and possibly actually political, there was a raid at the Northlands property that is associated with the family of the former president. Um, have investigations into what transpired there commenced? Um, what evidence do you have or what is the status of investigations? Have arrests been made? Thank you. Shall I answer those ones first? It will take one minute to answer them. The first one is uh, whether there is any evidence leading the former president to, to crime. I, I cannot comment on that. I'll respond by saying as follows. That any person who is involved in encouraging crime doesn't matter their rank in society they have a date with me and my officers on the second one of uh, the attack on Northlands what happened in Northlands it's a serious crime and I want to report yes we have undertaken investigations and we will be arraigning some suspects very soon. It has taken a bit of time because of the politicization around it. And I have said uh, to you, dear Kenyans, we don't want to politicize national security. Any person who is involved in crime, it doesn't matter their political affiliation. Some of the people political leaders who have been fanning the violent attacks on property and police officers in Kericho and Bomet are Kenya Kwanzaa of politicians and they'll have to be arrested. You know, once we conclude investigation, we'll arrest them. So we, we, let's not politicize this thing. But I don't think it is my, in my space to comment about the former president of Kenya. Yes. 